Mignon Dupria is one of the most humble cricketers you will ever meet. This dynamite talent is a long-serving, proud member of the Momentum Pro Tiers. She has amassed over 4,800 runs in the green and gold, having represented South Africa 225 times, 97 of those as captain. With live sport cancelled due to the coronavirus, it is rare to hear about a sponsorship announcement. Well, Dupria recently bucked the trend when she signed as brand ambassador for Orco. It's a paid partnership where I've become Orco's brand ambassador and they've become my bat sticker Hi, sponsor. Guys. My name is Mina Dupria and I'm a South African women's cricket player. I'm extremely excited to become part of the Orco family. Orco has officially become my bat sticker sponsor. It's clear that Mignon understands the power of her brand as she continues to add to her stable of personal sponsors. For me, it's about building strong relationships through networking. I really like to get to know my sponsor and become part of their family. Uh, for me, it's more than just a sponsorship. It's a brand relationship. The lockdown has given Mignon the opportunity to reflect on her time in Australia during the ICC Women's T20 World Cup. Definitely our opening game against England when we beat them for the first time in a World Cup campaign. And it was also pretty special because it was my 100th game and I managed to score the winning runs. South Africa had a really promising T20 World Cup campaign, which ended when the team narrowly lost to Australia in the semi-finals. I still would say I'm a little bit disappointed, um, not with the whole campaign, just how it ended. Um, I really think for all of us, we really felt this year was the year that we didn't bring this World Cup trophy up. So all in all, I think we had a really good campaign up until the last game. We just didn't play our best in the semis. It is not common to find Mignon at home with the amount of time she spends touring. I think our secret is we've decided to see it as a blessing. During the last year, I probably haven't actually been at home this long back to back. Um, so for us it's just about learning some new skills, we try and spend quality time together and find ways to keep it fun and entertaining. The lockdown means that people can only leave their homes for essential services. That leaves many hours to find things to occupy yourself with. I actually really like spending time in the kitchen doing some cooking and baking. From a women's cricket perspective, things are really looking up for South Africa. Well, globally, the women's game is in such a healthy state, and I've had a few discussions with Graham about what women's cricket currently looks like in South Africa and globally, and I must say, I'm super excited to see the strategies that he'll implement to make sure we cement ourselves as one of the best teams in the world. The next ICC Women's T20 World Cup will be in South Africa in 2022. Well, I'm not sure we can say bring it home, as it will already be on home soil, but I definitely think with the current group of players, we've got what it takes to win a World Cup. With government announcing an extension to the lockdown, it's tough to predict what's going to happen. Being away from sport myself these days has made me realise how often we do take some of our opportunities for granted. Um, for me, the biggest thing is let's decide to see this pandemic not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone. Never in our life will we have this amount of time to really re-energise ourselves and make sure that we come up with a game plan to reach our dreams. Remember, if your dream doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. Just do your best and God will do the rest. Stay safe. There is no doubt that there is more to come from this iconic cricketer who keeps reinventing herself as her incredible career progresses.